The city's migrant data says the number of migrants released into El Paso by Customs and Border Protection went down by about a thousand people last week. ABC 7's Carrie Maddox spoke to a local shelter official about what this means for our area and she joins us now live. Carrie. Sam, the local shelters like the Opportunity Center for the Homeless are seeing a similar decrease. But the center's director, John Martin, says that doesn't necessarily mean the end of the current migrant surge in El Paso. The city of El Paso's migrant situational awareness dashboard shows the number of releases into the region by CBP went down by more than 1,000 in the past week. And El Paso Business says they've noticed the impacts throughout the community. Two, three weeks ago, I could, I could easily tell you a good hundred, you know, because we used to get that good hundred into the store, but um, now it's, it's like barely anyone's there. Because of the decrease in releases and the city's purchase of the Community Readiness Center, the city stopped using hotels like this to shelter migrants. Instead, they're being referred to local shelters. We're still seeing those new faces. John Martin, deputy director of the Opportunity Center for the Homeless, says the decline doesn't mean El Paso's current migrant surge is over. I still think we're going to see a flow, okay? But I can see where folks may indicate that, okay, well, we maybe have crested, and at this point we're coming off of that third wave uh, that we've talked about. Um, let's just say that we're hopeful that that is the case, but I don't think we have enough information to be able to make that determination yet. And while fewer migrants means more available resources, Martin says the need is still there. The needs are going to change from day to day. I meant so for example this evening, do I get a lot of families in with very young children, toddlers or infants? And then of course you're looking at that related issue. The, the needs are pretty consistent as well. You know, we're looking at blankets, we're looking at towels, we're looking at clothing, you're looking at toiletries. And you can donate to the center by looking for the story on KBIA.com. ABC7 will keep you updated on the current migrant surge in El Paso, both on air and online. Reporting from South, South Central El Paso, I'm Carrie Mannix, ABC7. All right, Carrie, thank you so much. And here's a look at the city's migrant dashboard and the number of migrants encountered by Customs and Border Protection. We want to show you just two weeks ago, it was just over 1,300 people. And a few weeks before that, it was at 1,600. But take a look at this latest number. It was at 1,100. It shows a sharp decline. Obviously, that's the trend that we are seeing now. And this is obviously showing the trend that we are seeing here in El Paso when it comes to this migrant crisis in our region.